It's like, like the amount of like, non-nib counts monsters. Yeah, I said, what was that whale card? Uh, that's World Sea Zelantis. Card's nice. Okay, so now we got Christian E on Raid Raptor versus Matthew B on Magispector. Are you kidding me? Why can't you just play on DB for me? I would, I'll literally pay you guys to play this matchup on DB. I want both of these decks. I want to upload both of these decks. Uh, this is actually, this is, a, this, is a, this is a good match though. Okay, so they're going to go Foolish, Dump, Banish, go search for a Raid Raptor. Grab out Bloom. Yeah, I mean, the opponent's probably going to have to read over every Raid Raptor card. Which is like, fair enough. So now they're going to go Bloom, Special, Special. No Kieran though. Yeah. Format can't end soon enough. I mean, I think the format's like fine. I think I think it needs to change a little bit, but not too much. A lot of people want Snake Eye completely dead, but sounds horrible. Record this match and post it on TVG YouTube. I might have to. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to. But they Valor that, so that means they have to have another interruption. Yep, they have another Valor in hand. Wow, Pendulum opens up double Valor. Yeah, you have to stop Raiders Knight. That card's broken. I see Moonlit plus Nib. Uh, I can't tell what Raid Raptor spell that was in their hand. But they're gonna go ahead and pass. Or if it was like maybe like a rank up or something. Oh my gosh! Activate Super Heavy Samurai Wakashi! And then activate special, go scale from the deck. That's just game. Also, they, they did that in the wrong zone. They should have activated Wakashi in this zone, and then Big Benki gets placed in this zone. So that way you play around Imperm. Oh, it just never mattered. Okay, 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 okay. It just never mattered. Nice. Activate Soul Gaia effect to equip from the hand to the Prodigy there. And Soul Gaia special summon out. Overlay those. What are they doing with this? Oh. Okay, so they could just make the magic specter with that. Okay, fair, fair, fair. I, I haven't seen like that much magic specter this format to be honest. So they're gonna summon that out. I don't know if that's something that's like common for that. I don't. I don't think so though. Yo, doesn't Raid Raptor play Kali Yuga? Uh, some of the lists do, but most of them don't. Like most of the lists don't play Kali Yuga. They either try to set up like tons of tower monsters or they try to go oh my gosh they moonlit that and they go activate spell to tribute and now that can go ahead and do the special doesn't this magic specter lose hard to nib i don't i actually don't know i'm not gonna lie I, i've been wanting to see this deck a lot but it's like impossible to do so like to the point to where like i've offered people money to pay this to play this deck and they're like i'm not doing it it's like, okay, that's fair. It's just one of those decks where I'm going to have to full commit and play it if I want to get replays from it. Like, a lot of people ask for Magic Specter, Raid Raptor, and Marin Sus. And I know how to play Marin Sus, so I might, I might play that for a replay soon. I haven't played that deck in, like, I haven't played that deck since the last ban list dropped. Like, the day of the ban list, I, I haven't played it since then, but... Okay, so they're going to summon out the Fox from hand, Fox reset spell from graveyard, and then link off... And then activate the effect. Yeah, that's gonna go through. That card's broken. That one's actually broken. Yeah, so they're gonna go ahead, add back two, go put two into the extra deck. Uh, thinking about which two they wanna do. I missed the Nightfall Grinder. I haven't seen Nightfall on DB in a little while. Maybe, maybe I'm just missing them. But I haven't seen Nightfall in a while. So they're going to put Toad and the Magispector Draco Slayer. And Toad's the one that gets to set one directly from deck. But that, I mean, it's just game. I'm not going to lie. Once you get to this point, like, I know they have Rock in their hand. I guess, I guess Rock might be able to save them, to be honest. Okay, so they're going to Pendulum Summon for three. And then, yeah, new Chain Link. Uh, at least one and two. Yeah, one, two. So go ahead, set from the deck, and then go search and discard. Nightfall is goaded at Brandon. I'd love to watch him uh, play other decks. Yeah. I, the thing is, like, Nightfall's been on Brandon, he said, since day one. 
So, like, if you play one deck for two years, like, and you're a good player, like, you know what I mean? You're going to become extremely talented with that one deck. I haven't seen him play a different deck. It'd, yeah, it'd definitely be interesting to see. But, like, you know, he's very good at Branded, which is nice to watch. Okay, yeah, they're calculating the stats of the rock token there. It's going to be a lot. This is, this is where you need a calculator. Makes it so much easier. Okay, yeah, pass over rock token. Probably should have put it in the middle. If we're not going to, like, bait an animal or something, you just got to put it in the middle. So they have Secret Village in hand, plus the Magic Specter Field spell. Um, I'm pretty sure the spell can just special back out, which will make the Tempest live at least. So then the opponent won't be able to go for a game. So they're going to go ahead, spell, summon out Bumbuku, Bumbuku, Effect, Go, Search. Yeah, just grab some follow-up. Uh, that's on Super Heavy, and Snake Eye is a budget wanted engine. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't like ever play budget, just because I play on DB, and whenever I play in person, I can borrow every card I need, so I, I don't really think about budget options too much, I did think about budget Fire King Snake Eye before, but I didn't play the super heavy Samurai stuff, I thought it was just better without that stuff, but I was playing the deck with Black Witch, but I was playing it without Wanted or Bonfire, when I was trying to build a budget, and I think one Poplar too. Um, uh, oh, hey, hey, shout out to Savant Dota for the sub with the prime. Said, nice, I'm trying to grind on a high rated enough ELO to give you some cool goatee replays. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, that, that's another deck that, like, every time I post it, people love seeing it. And I also like watching it, too. Especially because I only get to upload it, like, once every couple weeks. So, it, like, keeps my mind, like, refreshed on what they do, which is good. Uh, my dad has played Altergeist for like five years. He's very good with the deck, but never goes to events. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I, have, I have a buddy who played Prank Kid for a very long time. It was actually ridiculous. Played the deck before Dinkaboo even got the win with it. And then continued to play the deck until the deck died from Meow Meow getting banned. And that was like the last straw. But, okay, yeah, it looks like that's just game. Raid Raptor goes ahead and emits defeat there. Yeah, those green screen's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. You can, like, you can, like, see it at the top of their heads. But, okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and skip into the next game now. It's Nadir's Servant. God, yes. Wait, is it actually spelled the same? No, it's not the same. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say, I've heard that before, but this name is right there. Oh, uh, Couple of weeks is generous. A uh, couple of weeks for what? I don't even know what I was talking about, to be honest. Hey, shout out to Scythe Knight for the sub and the tier one. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. Everyone who's watching, subbing, uh, anything, just chilling. But okay, they're gonna go ahead, Bloom, summon itself out, plus, uh, I can't remember that card's name. Oh, then they summon another one of it from hand. That's the one that, if you control like a Dark XYZ, you get to summon one back out from the graveyard. Or if you control a XYZ with a XYZ material, I'm pretty sure you get to summon one back out from the graveyard. And if you have a dark XYZ, you can summon it from hand. Pretty sure that's the one that that, that one is. But they're going to go ahead and summon Force Tricks. Force Tricks effect to go search. And then, yeah, the opponent's just reading over these cards right now. Because this is definitely a better start from them than what they had last game. I saw a Lightning Storm in the opponent's hand, but that card's like... It's not bad. It's not bad. It's going to force out the back wrist. So they can't just pop every card that you control. Oh, they have a Valor. Okay. So they're going to go search Raider's Wing. Which Raider's Wing could allow them to have a protected uh, Raider's Knight. The only problem is, imagine right here they go, Rock. And you're like, oh, ah, you can't be that. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Now we know you have it. Now we know you have it. That's so crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. Love your content, bro. It's definitely made me a better player. Hey, thank you for watching. Oh, God, yes. And even throwing up a capybara emoji. I, I couldn't ask for more. When has Konami given DB Grinder an opportunity to commentate an event in real life? Never. 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 
I, I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. I've commentated for PPG before. I commentated for uh, for the Goofy Gauntlet before, and I commentated for Mythic TCG. It was, a, it was a good time. It was a good time. Well, yeah, that was a good time. Second time I commentated PPG, not as much. The commentating was fine because it was like me and Ruben, and that was kind of fire. But outside the commentating, it was mid. First time I went down the Miami though, that that was a lot better. Even though there was like a hurricane, which was kind of crazy. A hurricane warning, hurricane. I don't even know. But they're gonna Valor the new war effect there to try to go ahead and search out for pain. And then they're just gonna link off. And now they're gonna get Wise Tricks effect. Yeah, they shouldn't have Valor new war. It was just searching pain. Pain is just like another level four. Like that's all you cut off when you could have cut off the uh wise tricks which is going to be special summoning one from deck right now and then it's going to be setting a quick play from deck one of the well i guess it doesn't have to be a quick play but well but it's going to be a quick play rank up here since the arsenal falcon graveyard effect activated while it was on the field um okay yeah set the rank up that is fine pretty sure that's the one that's going to give them all the pops but the opponent has the lightning storm to prevent that and then activate ultimate falcon effect. Sure. That's fine. So just doing it. And then the opponent can't activate cards for the rest of the turn. Which is a nice effect by the way. Very nice effect. Uh, basically just need to get raider's wing underneath knight and that's it. Yeah it, it depends though. Because like right there. Like they played around Valor Imperm. Like really hard. But they played in the rock. Like, Rock would have taken their life savings. Like, and more. It would have taken more. It would have pink slipped the deck away. Your deck would have gotten stolen if you got hit with Rock there. But they're gonna go Force Tricks. Uh, I'm pretty sure they searched the Samorg there. Couldn't necessarily tell. Uh, Mimicry Effect. Banish. Go search for the Raid Raptor. And then that's gonna grab out Roast. Pretty sure that's the name of it. The one that puts back and draws and stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so banish search. Okay, so now I'm gonna look at their hand. I see cat in it. That's not good. That's an end phase search. That's definitely not what we need. We need more than that. We need like Bumbuku in hand or maybe like a fox. We need some type of extension with that. Okay, so the use spell, which is gonna go ahead and summon out the rank 13 towers. Kinda broken, kinda broken. And then they get to grab the trap from the deck to the hand. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know if Magic Spectre has a way to deal with towers. They have to play, like, Axis Code or something, right? I still don't get how the new rank up works. Uh, it says it needs two to remain face up, but they only pick one on field and two engrave. I guess two face up, engraver means face up. Uh, I'd have to read over it again. Yeah, I'd have to read over it again. So I'm pretty sure it's worded a little bit different than that. I don't, I don't remember though. So what's going on? It's just Raid Raptor doing Raid Raptor things. Yeah, they're going to go ahead, bring out, and then make SP. We banish our own SP off the field. Um, okay. So we play around sphere mode. And then we're going to banish, get back. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't, yeah, none of that stuff locked us. We didn't go through like, uh, what's it called? Uh, fuzzy or anything. So I'm pretty sure none of that locked us. But okay, SP banished itself to play around sphere mode. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of clean. That's kind of clean. It's kind of buns, but at the same time, it's kind of clean. So now... Said, how'd they make SP? Uh, I thought they used Tribute Lanius. Uh, Tribute Lanius doesn't lock you, right? I guess I'll just look. I'm pretty sure Tribute Lanius doesn't lock. Raid, Raptor, Tribute. Okay, yeah, let me read over this real quick. Um. Also, yeah, it doesn't lock you. The only effect that locks you is if you search off of it for the rank up. 
Only fuzzy locks. Yeah, I, I know. I knew. I knew fuzzy locked. I knew that one locked for sure. Because that was the reason why. Like, if you play Fenrir, you don't play fuzzy in your deck, and vice versa. But okay. Now they're gonna go normal summon. Some org bring out. Go up in the force tricks. Force tricks effect. Attach. Go search. Mm-hmm. Can't tell what that one was at all. And then they're just gonna go set three and then pass turn. Okay. Uh do they make it the main phase? Okay, so no anti-spell. Lightning storm, pop back row. And the back row. Okay, so they're gonna activate trap. Um pretty sure just negates it, right? Okay. I'm actually gonna look at that card real quick. So I know I'm pretty sure it has a Grigrid effect too. Right. Raptor. Okay, so they set up scales. And then they have cosmic set, but they're not they're not stopping it there. Okay. Well yeah, let me read over this real quick. Um, yeah, banish card from your graveyard target, one of your Raider Raptor monsters that's banished from your graveyard, add to your hand. Okay, so it's a little bit of follow-up next turn, okay. Uh, not the other looking like he lost all hope. I mean, yeah, they're about to blow up the field here. So, effect, destroy all cards the opponent controls. Yeah, and they just scoop. Okay, so going on to game three now, uh, Magic Specter gets to go first. And that's gonna be good for them, obviously. Pendulum going first, especially like more like control pendulum. Also, bro, what was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. That's someone's head. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was someone dressed up as a furry for a second. I was like, bro, what am I looking at? Hold on, hold on. Oh, it said any plant replay soon on YouTube? Uh, maybe, maybe. The thing is, like, high rated doesn't have, like, very much rogue in it right now. It has, like, almost no rogue in it, to be honest. Besides, like, I don't even know. Actually, yeah, there's, like, almost no rogue in it. A lot of people are just playing meta right now. Maybe, like, when a ban list drops, there'll be more stuff. Like, when the ban list drops, but before it goes into effect. But even then, like, once that happens, I don't upload the current format anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Plants are not a great spot right now. Okay, we're gonna see Magic Spectre start off with... Ha! Face off. Yeah, they have to read it. Which is fair. I, I, I would actually read over it, too. It's been so long since I've actually seen that card activated. But it's just, you know, put two out onto the field, roll the dice... Adder special, or Scaler special. And then, yeah. Okay, reads over it again. Oh, they do have Ash. Okay. And then they're gonna go normal summon out. Yada. Yada, go ahead and search. I saw a Raider after Mirror at my locals. Looked like the least interesting Yu-Gi-Oh I've seen in a minute. Yeah, a lot of people are really interested in Raider Raptor. I don't know exactly why. I mean, it's cool that it gets to do, like, 150 steps before it ends on towers. But, I don't know. It doesn't seem like the most interesting deck to me. So, they're going to go ahead and make the Magic Spectre Link effect. And then, yeah, add back, go scale. That's fine. Maybe they're just interested in it because it's, like, uh, not fire. Probably because it's cheap. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of other cheap decks that you can play. It also gets destroyed by Lab. Okay, la Lab is not real. Lab is not real. If they're playing Lab, they're already losing. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's there's a lot of Bestials running around. A lot, of, a lot of Ash is running around. You know, there's a good amount of Bells running around. Also, like, if I, if I get to go first against Lab, it's probably just game over. Like, the dice roll matters against that deck. Uh, it was cheap. Yeah, I, I I know some of the stuff went up. I know Tribulanius went up, but that's a I don't I don't really look at card prices too often, at least not recently. Yeah, I mean I stop stop buying cards really after uh after Konami cooked us with the pearly hit. 
and the uh, Super Heavy Samurai hit. I did pick up Unchained though, before it went up in price, because the deck was like mega cheap. It was like what, 40 bucks or something like that for the entire Unchained core. And I got to pick up like the original spell and stuff. I, I picked up the other stuff because I was like, yeah, this deck's definitely undervalued. I was like, people just are not playing this deck correctly. I was like, they're losing the rock when they're opening tour guide. I was like, that's not real. But yeah, okay, they're counting the stats of it right now. Gosh, rock, rock is really good against this deck, it appears. I'm not going to lie. They don't have a way to beat it. Okay, so now they're just going to use the scale effect. I guess they have a way to end on something through it. But it doesn't seem like enough. So they're gonna add, pop the bumbuku, activate scale, scale pop. Wait, oh yeah, it doesn't it doesn't pop the other scale, that's right. Special summons out the other scale. That's right, that's right, that's right. Almost messed up. Oh, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster and GG's. Uh Lab is Cope right now. Turns out furniture and opponents and foods ain't good enough. Glad I moved my ulti big welcomes in January. Wait, wasn't that worth a lot of money at one point? I forget. I don't I oh wait, I mean I might be thinking about regular welcome. I know regular welcome was like 30 bucks. But they're gonna go ahead, set, secret village, pass. Okay. Wait. <laughs> they have they have totem bird in a main deck extra deck sleeve? That's crazy. You probably have all your extra deck sleeves in one color. I know you're allowed to have them in different colors. Like, I've definitely gone to a regional before and used, like, 15 different colored extra deck sleeves. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster about to meet the village. Yeah, they go search out Yada, Appa the Cat, and then pass. Okay, reads over Yada. Yeah, that one searches out the spell card. Alright, alright, alright. They do have two monsters two spells and they can't use their spells yet so i mean the secret village actually is putting in some pretty decent work uh wait did you say you can have different colors sleeves within your extract that seems odd yep yep unless if they change the ruling like i, I know for a fact that before pandemic you were 100 percent allowed to have different color sleeves in your extra deck actually came up multiple times I've had different color sleeves in my extra deck multiple times, and also one time I remember I remember my buddy, he only had like different color sleeves on him for his extra deck, and he's like, I'm not buying another pack of sleeves for my extra deck. That sounds crazy. Uh, that's why you're supposed to have same extra sleeves. Yeah, it seems odd because of pots that banish randomly from your extra deck. Well, I mean, if you don't play pots, right, it just won't matter. And also, yeah, yeah. As long as you don't play that those kind of cards, it won't matter at all. It'll be fine. Also, the pots make your opponent banish. So if anything, it would hurt you, not help you. Like, if you summon SP and it's in an orange sleeve and your extra X all in different colors, and then next game you activate Extravagance and your opponent picks the orange one, I mean, that's kind of just on you. But, like, I was never letting my opponent banish for Extravagance themselves. I, I was always picking the cards for him. I was never getting cheated like that. They're gonna go ahead, Cyclone Pop, and then Nib Attack over. Yup. And then... They can main phase two. I wish I could just see what's in their hand. It's like so close to me. Oh, oh, okay. Talons. Is that fuzzy? Okay, fuzzy. And they get to go search a raid raptor here. Uh, they can't bloom because they have rock on field. Uh, what would extend here? Pain won't work. We don't have a body. Huh. Uh, I'm trying to think about what would extend here. I don't, I don't think any of them actually work. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I may have mismatched sleeves for locals, but I never show up to a regional or above with mismatched sleeves. I don't know. I, I, I do not take regionals the most seriously right now. I'm not going for world's points or anything, and I already have my invite. So, it's fine. It's fine. 
I don't, I actually, I had a series before that I made, but I never uploaded it because it came out kind of whack. But it was a series where I coached somebody and then they got their first regional, like, invite. But I never got to upload it. I probably should have went to the regional that they went to. Probably should have just, like, went there and then got better footage and then I could have done it. Yeah, that's kind of hype, though. That's kind of hype. Dude, they were playing Sword Soul back, like, when Bird and Sword Soul just got done being, like, the best decks. That's kind of hype. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. But I'd also probably never do it again. Because I hate coaching. Oh my god, it's actually the worst thing ever. They're gonna make Sky Crisis, Sky Crisis, Bounce Back Token. Okay. And then, pass. So, Magic Spectre is definitely going to win here, right? I mean, this is just like an open field for them. Yeah, they're playing fast. They're gonna go scale, bumbuku, grab, scale, fex, search, pop. I guess they don't have to pop. Yeah, I was gonna say, you probably don't pop there. Just go special summon out. Make the Magic Spectre guy. Oh, it makes Beyond the Pendulum, okay. Activate Beyond the Pendulum. Uh, pay 12, go search out Fox from the deck. That's good. And then scale. And now we can go Pendulum Summon. And then new chain link. Uh, we're going to get Yada, Cat, Beyond the Pendulum, and Fox. So we're going to go ahead, pop Sky Crisis and the one set card. Search at end phase. Go ahead, search out spell. Set spell from graveyard. Holy, this player is playing so fast. Overlay into XYZ. And then they're going to go activate, tribute, go special summon out from the deck. And then they get XYZ effect to go ahead, detach. Oh, and, they, and they get toad effect. Yep, 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 yep. Go ahead, set trap from deck. And then summon out fox. Oh, okay. No more traps, I guess. And then, yeah, they're just going to link off now. Wow, what is that? I can't even tell what that card is. Oh, oh, oh that, that's the Beyond the Exceed card. Okay, 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 okay. It looked weird for a second, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what would you say to John Jones in real life if you saw him at an event? I would say, hi, John Jones. Bye, John Jones. <laughs> I don't know, that dude's just a moron. He would, uh, he'd be out of the tournament by round two anyways for slow play warnings. Grinder, what's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, now they're gonna, yeah, they're attacking. They're trying to do the math in their head, which is always a struggle. And now they link off into IP Mascarena, and then that's game. Yep, end phase cat go search. Well, wow, they did that turn extremely fast. Extremely, extremely fast. But just search out Yada and then pass. So, uh, what is that set card? It's gonna be nothing good. It's just gonna be a blank spell. It's just gonna be a blank spell that they can't activate because Secret Village. And then. I see Tribute Lanius in their hand. Oh, they're only at 300. Okay, so normal summon out Tribulaneous. Hey, but 300's good enough. On summon, they're gonna go activate. And then special summon back out the link from the graveyard. Okay, and then they said, you're fine here. And then they're gonna activate the effect of special summon from hand since they control the dark monster. Okay, and then they're gonna get XYZ affected attach and go summon and then they said oops I have no target my bad Yeah, so the Yada gets to stay underneath of that legal activation Magic Spectre Giga Chad. Yeah, honestly both these players are wild for pulling up with their their choices their deck choice I guess they could say battle to force out oh yeah, they're just gonna be. I guess you just use that effect first and then say battle. But now they're gonna go fuzzy special. And then. 
I mean, okay, now the opponent IPs, right? Right? I guess you could hold it and wait. I guess it doesn't really matter if they make the link or anything. But okay. They're gonna go activate the exceed effect there to go summon out a Yata. And then reads over Yata. Uh, judge illegal activation, ding them for game, please. I mean, they probably do actually get like a warning for that just because it's on stream. Technically, you are supposed to get a warning every time you do an illegal activation. But I couldn't imagine being one of those guys that like call judge for every illegal activation that happens. Now, if my opponent does it, oh, bro, it's over with. You better not misplay a single time. I'm calling judge every time. Every single time. Or if the opponent's just being whack, oh, I'll be I'll be whack back on God. I've had it happen a few times, and it's like, all right, buddy, you want to be whack? Oh, well, that's an illegal activation. Oh, judge, this man needs a warning. Judge, this man needs another warning. You're not gonna get a game loss for me, but you're gonna get a couple of warnings, buddy. But okay, yeah, let's go ahead and admit the feet there. I mean. Fair enough. Magic Spectre going first. I felt like probably should have been able to do better than that, but Rock really does hurt them, like, extremely bad. I'm not gonna lie. Why would you call Judge?